And hello my fellow vault dwellers and welcome to another Fallout 76 farming video. Now in today's video I am going to show you a location that me and my friends have found to be the best for flux. And not any, not just any flux, but the one that everyone seems to have a trouble with, which is violet flux. Now, where you want to nuke is in the southeast corner for Scorch Queen Beast. Uh, Scorch Beast Queen, I'm sorry. Is you nuke right about here so that you can hit the edge of Fisher Sight Prime and you leave Forward Station Delta alone. We do that so that we can fight the Scorch Beast Queen over here without having to wear rad suits or worry about rads. That way we can bring unarmed characters like myself to do max damage to her when she lands. But, all within this area, you're going to find mutated ferns at the base of a lot of trees. And those ferns will have turned into the violet flux tree, or violet flux plants. So what you want to do is, you want to stay on the outside edge of this point of interest here. And you're just going to keep looking for trees. And you're going to go from tree to tree looking for the Violet Flux. Now, one trick that you can do, and as you can see, the Flash Fern is what you're looking for. It's purple. It stands out very nicely. Very easy to pick up when you get close. One trick that I do recommend that you do if you are farming this up because you need it is to equip gr uh, Green Thumb. It is a one-point perception perk, which allows you to reap twice as much when you are uh, whenever you are looting plants. So as you can see, I'm getting two Violet Flux per, and there's 50 to 60 spawn points among all the trees in this particular location. So you can get 100 to 120 of these without breaking a sweat. So it's a very great way to do it. There's very few enemies out here, so once the Scorch Beast Queen is dead, and everyone normally kills all the Scorch Beasts, everything stays dead, you'll see Scorch Beasts in the air on my character right now, not because they're normally here after the Scorch Beast Queen fight, but just because this is my third character I've brought in. I have a friend holding the server for me, so I can bring multiple characters in to farm it. So, as you can see, we picked up some more there. I'm just going tree to tree to tree, picking up as much as I can. That's all I'm looking for. And I just work my way around the outside edge here. If the Scorch Beast wants to play, I'll take him out real quick. And it looks like he does, so that's fine. Kill the Scorch Beast. After a second one jumped, me and my friend came out and helped me get them on the ground so I could kill them. Now, as we were continuing on, we're going to continue to farm up the Flash Ferns. So let's go ahead and keep going. As you can see, we are getting quite a few. Looks like this one's glitched, so we can't loot it. That one's glitched, so we can't loot it. There are a few that you'll run into here and there that are glitched like you just saw that you can't loot. Sometimes it's lag and you got to give it a second and sometimes they just can't be picked for some reason. I don't know what the cause is, but it's just one of those things. You get to you get used to it. There's enough other ferns in here that it's not like it really makes a huge difference, especially if you've got the green thumb on. There's more than enough to make up for it. Now, whenever you see these heavy groups of trees, always check these out. These heavy groups of trees tend to have the absolute best uh, condensed amounts of them. So you always want to make sure you're checking these. As you can see, there's a bunch that are really close together. Super easy way to get them. I mean, look how many we're getting close back to back to back. Super easy flash fern, super easy violet flux. You know, I, I when I had heard that people were having a hard time getting violet flux, I didn't understand what they were talking about until I realized that it's because most people are nuking White Springs, most people are not nuking other locations, so that they can try and find better places to farm certain materials. So, what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks is we are going to be continuing to nuke areas that are out of the ordinary. Um, we already started doing it so that we could find better nuke placement for the Scorch Beast Queen. Now we're going to start doing it with input from uh, posts on Reddit as far as places that people have tried and their results so that I can make video documents of whether or not they are worth it or not. Now as you can see we just cleared out that whole huge amount of them. There were a ton of them. That's one of the best spots right there is that huge group of trees. And then there is another spot that's similar to that along the south side um, that has another one. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue picking. We're going to pick our way south at this point. Again, still looking for trees. Uh, the trees tend to have the uh, tend to have the ferns in them. So here's another big group of trees. We'll take a look through here and see what's in here. As you can see, 
another nice batch not quite as dense as the other one but still quite a few still very easy violet flux picking as you can see and even if you don't have green thumb even though it's a one point perk it's really easy to pick up if you're going to be farming this there make it makes a lot of sense to pick it up and just swap it in I mean, you're always going to have one point of perception because the game forces you to take one. So you may as well make the most out of it while you're doing something like this, especially when they give you such an easy option to do it with. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head a little wide. We're going to head out to these sets of trees. We're going to try and stay on the western edge of all of this now so that we can try and finish this up. I think I'm going to hit like two more groups of trees and then we'll call it good. You guys will have enough of an idea at that point to be able to see just how much you're getting. So we'll hit one more group of trees, we'll call it good at that point, and you'll be able to see that this is just a fantastic run. And you can continue around the outside edge. You'll get more of these twosie threesies and then there's a couple of more thick sets of trees. So like this one, we'll hit this thick set of trees and then we'll call it good. And there's usually like two or three more along the south edge of this uh, that are super thick like this. Uh, down in these trenches, there's uh, mushrooms you can pick up that are not violet but are uh, crimson. There's quite a bit of crimson in this location as well. Um, I'll do another video for the crimson. But uh, yeah, you come right in here. As you can see, more violet, more violet. Super, super easy. All right, so let's take a look and see how many we got. Let's see, raw violet flux, 108. So we hit 54 spawn points for it because we're getting times two because of the, uh, because of the uh, green thumb perk. So if you found this video to be useful and I've just made your life so much easier in finding violet flux, violet flux please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I am putting out two, count them, two videos every single day, one at 8 a.m. and one at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for future content, go ahead and leave that in the comment box down below as I do read and respond to every single uh, message that you guys send my way. Thanks for watching and be careful in the wasteland. Bye.